What is up guys? My name is Aster and I am here with admin of the GOT and also coach of the Manectric United iPro. Well, how's it going, buddy? Hello, Aster. Thank you for having me. We uh, <laughs> we are here for uh, for a live commentating uh, live commentary, excuse me, of uh, of a match that we have going on in the round of 64 for playoffs in the GOT. And it is going to be between Dom, Dom's Game Room, and uh, Dark Devil 26, also known as Brendan. Uh, Brendan is the commissioner of the IBL, and uh, Dom is actually a very good uh, friend of mine. Hi, right, bro. If you want to go over the teams, we're going to start with Dom, uh, see what he has the potential to bring. All right, so Dom has a Mega Scissor Ladias, Sylveon Tangrowth, Greninja, which is a Zemon, a Pelipper, Nidoking, and Kingdra. Yeah, basically so a. Uh, rain. Yeah, a pretty, a pretty bulky rain team, exactly. That's what we're looking at here. Dom's had a lot of, of success, uh, specifically with his Nido King, his Mega Scizor, uh, and his Greninja. He's been using them all very well throughout pools. This is going to be his first uh, game in playoffs, so we'll see how he's able to carry that momentum moving into the knockout rounds. Uh, and then I'll let you uh, cover Brendan's team for us. Uh, he has a Curum Black, which is his Zemon. Uh, he has a Skarmory, a Mega Venusaur, a Raikou. Donphan, Entei, Zelf, and Crawdont. Yeah, so looking at this team, I feel like uh, Brendan might actually struggle a little bit with Dom's reign. I think that Greninja specifically looks like a huge threat to him. Uh, things like low kick, uh, water move, uh, extra sensory, like that coverage alone does a lot of damage to Brendan's team. Uh, Brendan, on the other hand, has one of the scariest mons drafted uh, throughout all Kieran of the Black. GOT. Yeah, Kieran Black with a Z-move, exactly, so that's going to be tough. But Dom does have a few responses uh, on his team, uh, specifically Mega Scizor, as long as it's not packing Hidden Power Fire. Uh, Sylveon can eat a hit as long as it's not Iron Head. He's, he's got to switch around the Kieran a little bit, but uh, I'm sure Dom will be able to manage it. Uh, as long as then he can run like a very very silly to lure the Kieran Black. Yeah, exactly that as well for sure. Uh, uh, contrarily, uh, Brendan could also run a uh, Roselli Berry, a Kieran Black, with, which I've done in the past. So uh, we'll see how that works out. I, I more expect so Babiri Berry on Brendan's end as well to deal with the Mega Scizor. Um, There's also the fact that Kieran Z move, so Z Free Shock just could Oko Sylveon. Yeah, so pretty much. It won't Oko uh, Scizor, though, but it'll do a lot of damage put yeah, in range of It HP can definitely power. be played around. Yeah, for Depends sure. Depends on predictions. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much the matchup. We'll see which uh, six mons that Dom and Brendan decided to, to bring. We, uh, we're we going to pause it real quick, and when we get back, we will be in the match, so be right back. All right, guys, and here we are. We have the, uh, the battle right in front of us, and... Uh, I'm actually going to zoom it up real quick because we're kind of far here. There we go. That's better. All right. So we've got uh, Dom who brought the Latias, the Greninja, as expected, the Nidoking, the Tangrowth, the Mega Scizor, and the Sylveon, while Brendan brought his uh, dual dogs, the Entei and the Raikou, the Donphan, Skarmory, uh, Venusaur, and Kirin Black. So most of what we expected. Yeah. Uh, kind uh, of... Brendan leaving a Zelf on Crawdont in the back. Yep. And uh, Dom leaving what? He left his, let me just check real quick. I think he left his rain in the back. He didn't bring his rain. Oh, you're right. Pelipper and, and or Kingdra. Yeah, he left. He brought everything but the rain and the uh, the rain setter and the rain abuser. So um, they're about to get right into it, into this. They're going to pick their leads. Uh, we uh, just told them that they can go ahead. And, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm curious to see who's going to come out on top here. Brendan doesn't seem too confident with his chances. He thinks that Dom is actually going to destroy him. He's been saying it constantly. And uh, I'm curious to see if that's what's actually going to happen. But I think Brendan's going to lead Kieran Black. In... Um, I don't know about that. Because Scizor, Scizor doesn't have a horrible lead matchup outside of, like, um, the Entei. And the Entei has checks. Yeah. yeah. He has the Latias, he has the uh, the Sylveon, which can probably take a hit as long as it's not banded. I'm thinking more so Latias. I don't understand that he didn't bring an, uh, an Entei check. Probably because he thought he... Brendan wasn't going to bring the Entei. Even then, like, uh, Brandon could play aggressive and just click HP Fire turn 1 yeah. if he leads Scizor. Exactly. Kieran eats a bullet punch. Uh, yeah, Kieran definitely eats a bullet punch. And that's another thing, I, I expected Dom to bring at least the Pelipper, specifically, well, one for the Entei and two for the uh, for the fact that it gets up rain forces or to not be checked by anything from Kieran Black. Yeah, so. that would have been nice. 
But he probably felt like he needed every single mon and probably mightn't have been able to fit it on. Yeah. So we'll see what happens, but uh, I'm a little too zoomed in, I just noticed. <laughs> but anyway, I'll deal with it in post-editing. Um, they're still picking their leads. Uh, Brendan already said good luck. I'm assuming he already picked his lead. Dom's still deciding on his. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be one of his faster mons or the Scizor. So either the Greninja, the Latias, or the, the Scizor, because he doesn't want to get caught off guard by uh, a Raikou lead. Probably. Uh, I can actually see a Latias lead because it's kind of looking threatening to Brendan's team. For sure. Yep. Alright, so he decides to lead off with the Nidoking against the Raikou. That's definitely a very good lead for Dom. Uh, Raikou can pack the extra sensory, but it's threatened immediately by uh, Earthquake or Earth Power. Uh, the fact that yeah. it's faster, if they could once again be exchanging berries, uh, Shuka and uh, Payapa, potentially, then Raikou will come out on top in that exchange. But uh, kind of difficult for Brendan here if he doesn't have the Shuka berry. Probably oh, just go to... Yeah, he goes to Skarm. So he covers that nicely. Uh, I do expect Ice Beam uh, right here from Dom to come out because it covers the Dawn Fan as well. Uh, I don't see why he would bring Thunderbolt. Flamethrower is an option, but I'm thinking more so Ice Beam makes sense against Brendan. As you look at the Skarm, it doesn't appreciate it. Uh, it's neutral against pretty much the entire team. Excuse me, except yeah. for Entei. So uh, I could definitely see that. Or Rocks. Either one. Yeah, Rocks as well, but looking at his team, I don't think he'd be like Sash lead. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think so either. It might be Scarfed. But I do think this is most likely Rocks. So it's probably three attacks Rocks. I think the Skarm is Spikes and the Dawn Fan is Rocks, actually. Because I think he would want to Spike stack him. Doubles uh, in a Kirim. Good double. On the Flamethrower. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, that is definitely a bulky Kirim. <laughs> Either that or that is not a Life Orb, Nido King. One or the other. You can just check real quick. So here's the problem now, is that Dom can't reliably switch into his Scizor because of the threat of an HP fire. Uh, at the same time, he can't just stay in with his Nido King unless he has superpower. Um, and it somehow blows back this Kirim. He does make the switch out into Scizor. He named it after me. That's interesting. He doesn't get frozen, so lucky for him. Um, we'll see what Brendan wants to do here. It doesn't seem like he's packing the HP fire, and he brings in Entei directly, uh, which makes me believe that the Entei is slightly defensive to deal with the Scizor. Uh, from the U-turn damage, it seems that way, as uh, Greninja is now going to come out. Jose the Greninja, and this is a massive threat to, to Brendan's team. We did cover this. Uh, the Entei d does show leftovers, so we know it's not banded, which means that Sylveon can switch in. Uh, so can Latias, relatively easily. Uh, as Greninja chooses to go for a Surf, and <laughs> Entei has Protect. So, that's cool. Um, what do you think he's going to do here? I think he might just play it safe and go Venusaur. Um, Venusaur seems reliable enough, yeah. Remember, guys, this is this is uh, not Protean or Battlebond Greninja. This is just um, Torrent. Torrent. And uh, that Kyurem is either like Spadef and or it's like max HP, while the Nido King is like no investment at all. Yeah. Because Flamethrower did nothing. If Dom has extra sensory here, he doesn't lose much by going for it. Um, because this Entei does seem to be defensive, and it's more than likely packing fire and maybe ground coverage on it. Uh, maybe Rock for the Pelipper as well. Um, it could also be Will-O-Wisp. I'm thinking it's Will-O-Wisp. Protect. Might be something weird like Toxic, but I don't know. Because, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but either way, he can't really stay in on the Greninja. There's the uh, potential of Specs, Expert Belt, Life Orb. Uh, it does do 77%. Calm Mind. Yeah, it's Toxic. Called it yeah. right. Yeah, Toxic. Smart. Alright, well, the Entei is weakened, which means one of his best checks to Scizor is now weakened. However, uh, he still does have the Skarmory at full, so. Um, yeah, and he can always get lefties, just protecting every mm -hmm. turn on. Wait, what? It, oh, that's right, it's a Zemon. He does 55% with the Shattered Psyche, and oh. Brendan overpredicts and goes for the Sleep Powder. So now his Venusaur is sitting at 31%. That is wow. not good. That is the not good. The thing is, uh, what will Dom click here? Because he either kills attacks what in front of him or like if uh brendan pivots around this thing's just gonna die to yeah eventually but the venusaur is extremely low it's in range of uh earth power from nido king psy shock of course from latias uh dom's team is relatively slow but if he gets up an sd with uh with scissor this game could be over because the Entei is so low now 
So he is just going to extra sensory again. I think that was his best play. Yeah, that was his best play for sure. Skarm is leftovers, as we see here. And uh, so we know it's not packing any kind of berry. Um, what do you think? He's going to double into Nido King here? He's going to switch out into Nido King, rather? More than likely, I'd say. He can get up his rocks then as well. Especially if, he's, if he was a Sash lead, then he's going to want to keep the Sash before the hazards go up. He might just be a bulkier variant for Raikou, even though he has a Tango that could be AV. Mm -hmm. like... Now, um, I don't know what the rest of this Greninja's moveset is, but Shattered Psyche was something that I didn't even consider. Uh, to be honest with you, I for completely forgot that the Greninja was a Zemon. Um, <laughs> thing. But, but the rest of his set, um, if he has spikes here, he clicks it. Because that'll leave the Venusaur and the Entei both in range of just a solo bullet punch. Then he just needs to knock out the Skarmory and he essentially wins. Um, what is... Uh, Dom just said in the, in the chat, wait, how? I don't know. What's up? What about the roll? Venusaur takes 73. Min. Did he mess up his Greninja? Let's just do the calc. Sword. Versus Greninja. Greninja, all out attacker. It is Life Orb, right? No, it's not Life Orb. It's a Z move. <laughs> no, it takes 52 to 63. 62. Uh, from Z? Yeah. Non Protean to Max Spada Venusaur. Uh... Yeah, he calcs Protean. Yeah, because when you click on regular Greninja on yep. the calc, it's always Protean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so he's U turn and he does go into Nido King. <sighs> That's a good play. Now, if he does have Stealth Rocks, he clicks it here. 100% and he should have yeah. rocks for this team. There's a Kiram. Yeah, for sure. And, and this is his only rocker. Yeah, and two sturdy ones. So he does not seem to have stealth rocks. I Either Maybe that... he just wants to weaken Scott. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he just wanted to break the sturdy. For sure. And there was no good flamethrower switching at this point. The Entei's defensive, so okay, yeah, that's what I figured. So it is a focus Sash lead. Meaning yeah. that uh, Rapid Spin will knock him out here. However, if this Nido King's last move is Ice Beam as we've only seen three moves. It does have the potential uh, to be able to knock this out, but uh, nope, he's going to go for knockoff, and he's got... Oh, poison point. Oh, that's... No wonder he didn't... Yeah, that's why I was fi I was figuring that he wasn't doing enough damage. I was just thinking he has to be like min special attack with like... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> These things have to be max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely looked some uh, looked over some stuff. Um, over like... a lot of things. What? Uh, rapid... She did. Yeah, and because just... now, now Brendan's team is in danger. Yeah, because Surf just picked, like Greninja just basically gets a kill. And Latias, right Latias kills everything. It actually does. Especially for uh, And I don't think Brendan has a Scarf right? that, like, I don't know, the Kyurem could be Scarf because, like, uh, the Nido King wasn't anything. Mm -hmm. uh, it this, might just be. This Greninja still has quite a few hits left in it. Okay, so the Scarf can be Defog. We didn't think about that, but. It could be, but like... But if it goes for Defog right here, then <laughs> it's, he's losing his Scarm in the process, and the rest of his team is pretty much weakened. Uh, there's the oh. Surf, there's the Defog, yep. Unfortunate crit <laughs> comes out from the Greninja. Yeah, that was... Alright, well... Um, now yeah, know now that the chose. Scarm is weakened, I'm pretty sure that Scizor cleans up. Uh, yeah, I think this, I don't know, there's still like, Raikou, what if it's Raikou, is the HP fire, an HP fire variant? Alright, so I'm expecting low kick here, if I'm being honest. No, uh, oh wait, it didn't, the Z move takes up a slot, but yeah, it might just be Dark Pulse. There's no Dark Resist on his team. That's true. There's the low kick, yep. Yeah, right. low kick, and now... But Brendan does not have a switch into Latias anywhere. 
anymore. Everything is weakened. Ra Raikou is the only thing that's healthy. Yep. And Raikou is does it? not want to take a Psy Shock right now. In fact, if that's Scarf Sylveon, I think it cleans. <laughs> that's that's the worst part. Fully bonded, quick attack. It wins. Yep, that too. <laughs> <laughs> In comes Rosaria, which is uh, Dom's girlfriend's name. Shout out to Rosaria. Sorry, his fiance. Excuse me. Oh, we're going to get a uh, Psy Shock coming out here. I don't think Dom has any reason not to click Psy Shock right now. It's not. Or Psychic. Oh. I'm not sure what you would do. Latias kind of just wins now because Raikou's not going to like do major damage to it because like it's a Latias. And if it's just Psy Shock. Is Raikou a Zemon? No, it's Kyurem. Okay, that's right, yeah. So it can't even be a um, never ending nightmare. <laughs> and I don't think that Kyurem's scarfed 100% I, because he switched out versus Greninja. Yeah. Unless he's trying to continue a bluff. Possibly. He might need it for this Latias specifically. Yeah, this is bad for Brendan. I mean, he, uh, Dom just showed Psychic over Psy Shock, meaning that if the Raikou is Calm Mind, it could be trouble. Even it's, then, there's a Tangrowth. If it's AV, it's going to just Earthquake the Raikou. Right, but then that allows in the Skarm to Roost. And that's a problem. So... What is um... I think Dom still has this, he just has to play correctly. He has to notice that Calm Mind Raikou is still p potentially a threat. Could even be uh, Scarf Latias as well. Could be, yeah. Absolutely. That's that's a very good, uh, very good on you for noticing that. So in comes the Kirim, um, telling me that Brendan probably did bluff the Scarf. Or, like, it's a Havon very variant. Could be. And as well, yeah. But I think Dom's safest play is just to go into Scizor regardless. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think Brendan has to play more aggressive. Oh. Absolutely, yeah. And this is going to be I, a free yeah, U-turn. Brendan's in the back, I think. Mm -hmm. He had to play more aggressive there. Yeah. yeah. He comes in, he just, he turns the U-turn. Yeah. And Adias comes back in and gets a kill. Yep. And uh, Dom still has very important key, um, very key defensive Pokemon left on his side. And essentially yeah, just picks up another on. kill here, because Protect isn't going to save Brendan. Yep. Yeah, this game's looking like a snack wrap, as Tom would say. Um, the Kirim comes back out. I think Dom's safest play now is to go into Sylveon. Because Sylveon still sort of pressures the Skarmory at the range it's at, uh, especially if it's Specs, uh, whereas Scizor just allows it to roost. He actually chooses to go into Tangrowth, uh, takes a Dragon Claw. Uh, do you think he's going to double into Sylveon? Or... He might. I think he should be. I don't know. He might just stay in. I don't know. Because if he, if Brandon here may most likely should uh, just go to Skarm to like get it back into the game. Yeah. On. On Dom's do on Dom switch. Yeah, for sure. And if Dom predicts that he might just stay in with his Tangrowth, but I don't know. And why? I think H Tangrowth is pretty. I don't think he should have went Tangrowth there. I think he should have went Sylveon. Mhm. Mm All more important. Yeah, I think so too. Um, because this Kiram is more than likely not uh, a Z Mon as we've seen at this point. I think Brendan really expected the Scarf Kiram to be able to put in a lot of work. Because you look at or it, he's just bluffing the Scarf very very well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's been bluffing. Yes, yeah, and there's the HP fire from the Tangrowth. So, this Tangrowth uh, is AV, as we've seen. It took okay. HP fire, no problem. And now with only one move slot remaining on Kiram and the fact that it isn't Scarfed, uh, Sylveon can come in. He can keep the Tangrowth for the Raikou at this point. Yeah. It could still I be Signal Beam, way. but I don't see that. Uh, there's another HP fire. Oh. He actually sacks the Tangrowth, yeah. which I don't agree with because Raikou's looking a little more threatening now. But I think it'll be fine. And yeah, he just goes like yes here. He actually chooses to go to me. And I think that. I don't know if not. I agree with that because this is HP fire, right. and, I, and I'm pretty convinced at this point this is Babiri Berry. I don't think it was worth like. Quote unquote 50 50 because like Skarm can roost on this if it's not like super power. Yeah, you turn up a bunch. Like, 
either you turns, but he has to make his best play would be to just quick bullet punch. Mm -hmm. Even then, Skarm could get erased. I don't think he should have brought Incisor. I think he should have just went Lottie ass. I mean, regardless, Skarm can't do much to Lottie, and Lottie can still have Defog on it. So can the Scissor. So spike stacking isn't a huge issue, and like Lottie can just T bolt at this point. Now that he knows that the Kirim is not scarfed, he can I mean, what if it's like. And if it locks into itself into T bolt, Raikou gets up calm mines and can kind of win. Well, I mean, he just uh, has to switch into Sylveon, right? And then calm mind up alongside him if he is that variant, of course. Or, that would be yeah. the issue. The game's definitely not over. Goes into Raikou. Yeah, Raikou. Wow, I mean, U Dom U turns on, on a play and he knows that the Kiram has HP fire and he makes yeah, that play. Yeah, I definitely play. think. Brendan's been playing a bit too safe. He should have played more aggressive, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Especially because he's more in the back. Oh, for but sure. But yeah, he is Ghost Garm. So, and if Sylveon should be able to kill this. He should be faster. He should have EV'd this to be faster. Nope. Apparently not. Uh, right. Yeah, so Skarm gets back to full, probably. Now, Sylveon doesn't have yeah. uh, leftovers. Which is This could be problematic depending on the Lottie set. I think it's Scarf Sylveon. Could be. Looking at it now. Um, so he definitely has T-Bolt here. The question is, does he click it? One. Uh, I mean, he just needs to chip away at the Raikou, right? Slightly. And his, his Lottie House doesn't need health to take on the other two. It just needs about, what, 25-30% to live a Brave Bird from Skarm? Maybe a little bit more? There's the T-Bolt. Skarm is going to take a huge hit. There's the Iron Head. And uh, now Skarm dies to Psychic. So, he can just fire that off here. Now, either if Dom goes for T-Bolt again, I think that just confirms the Scarf Latias. Yeah. But he should click Psychic if he's not Scarfed. Mm -hmm. That is definitely Scarf Latias. Yeah. Uh, which means now Psychic Spam wins. He just Close. needs he just needs the Kyurem a little bit lower, I think. But the thing is... Mm, Brendan, Shadow Balling there. I should, he should have both switched out to Skarm. Yeah, I don't sure. know why he Shadow Balled. Because then Skarm gets back to health. Well, I mean, at this I point, Dom knows to switch hard into Latias. Yeah, he does. And, uh... I mean, T-Bolt doesn't knock it out from this range. How much did Volt Switch do earlier? Uh, crit did 33, so normally would do about 22. 22, yeah. so T-Bolt would do like 27. Yeah, that's nowhere near enough. And this yeah, seems to be choice dead. locked. So dead, almost dead Raikou. And uh, Scarf yeah. Lottie wins. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? I don't know why he wished. I don't get that either. Uh, probably didn't want Scar roosting, maybe? I don't know. Oh yeah, okay. That's not a bad play. Except it still roosts here. <laughs> <That's Act. laughs> yeah. Well, he had no choice at this point. There's the roost no, he... on the wish. No, the hyper voice. Okay. Oh, uh, he won with three psychics there. If he just let. Yeah. If he just let hyper voice. Well, I mean, the Raikou can still be scarfed if it crits Shadow Ball on the uh, on the Latias. Dom can I still guess. lose. So. He could wish pass into Latias. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty much over now. Cause now Skarm can't even com comfortably come in on the. Uh, I can reveal leftovers or this, anything. I'm thinking this, this is a berry. Just for wish. What the uh, the uh, the Sylveon? You think it's uh, Beery? I, I don't. Probably most likely, but that crit. I'm not sure. Um, I don't think the crit really matters. Because he just roosts again. Just goes for Hyper Voice again. Okay, that's doing 40. That's doing a lot. Yeah. That plus one. Sylveon wins this matchup. And there's, he is Bibiri Berry. There is the Bibiri Berry, yeah. And not really. Just... He has to switch into Lottie hard here. This is getting oh, dragged he... on, out way longer than it needs to. <laughs> the Skarm he can't just touch Lottie ass. I don't know why he, he should hasn't just switched calm mind up. Well, I mean, he takes 40 from Iron Head. So I think he's t trying to. Okay, well, there it is. Does he wish here? Because now his hyper voice is doing a lot. No, he just hyper voices again. How many hyper voices does he have? Six left? Six. Oh, because of the pressure. Right. Alright, so in comes Latias. 
Wait, does can Brandon win this? Um, I don't think so, because I think Raikou is in range of Bullet Punch. I could it be is. wrong though. And yeah, everything dies to Bullet Punch now. Raikou. I'm pretty sure. Versus Scizor. Uh, thirteen percent, maybe. It depends on how bulky it is. He needed to go into Kyurem there, because Raikou dies to a T bolt now. Okay, so he hards into Scizor, which is actually his best play, in yeah, my opinion. It, because it keeps it his body. Yeah, exactly. And Scizor just got crit, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was a crit Shadow Ball did 31. <laughs> I am a beast. I am a beast. <laughs> this is, is going to be a pretty close 1-0, -oh, I think, because I think the Kyurem is Babiri as well. No, it's not. It's going to be a 2-0. So Dom wins it and uh, moves on into the uh, into the round of 32. Round of 32. Woo, what a game. GG to Brendan. Uh, he did very well. I think he uh, got a little bit thrown off by the Shattered Psyche. Uh, he wasn't expecting the Greninja to stay in, I think. Uh, he let his Entei get very weak. Entei was super important this game, Yeah, it I feel was. like. And uh, not spinning. Uh, well, he didn't have spin. But uh, letting the Dawn fan go down as well meant that he, or and the Scar meant that he lo lost to uh, to the Scizor right here. So um, a little unfortunate, a uh, few unfortunate events for Brennan. But Dom does move on uh, with his pseudo Rain team, uh, which is doing very very good. Um, Hate Rain. Yeah, it's, it's doing. It. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Um, but uh, congratulations to Dom. This has been uh, the GOT with your round of 64 match between Dark Devil 26 and Dom's Game Room. Uh, thank you, iPro, for joining me. And, uh, no problem. We will catch you guys later. Ciao.